On September 29, 2018, a gun rights group led by Caitlin Bennett held a gun walk on Kent State University's campus. The polarized political climate around the campus spurred massive counter-protests that created a violent push against law enforcement and the university. Unlike other protests that happened years previously, the disorganization and incooperation from the university made for a chaotic event. What started as a simple club protest escalated into something that put Kent State University into the public light. The gun walk in September was definitely supposed to be different. It was supposed to be kind of like the event that we had my last semester at Kent State. Unfortunately, the administration did not want it to happen and they tried everything in their power to make it not happen, but we showed up anyway. When I went into the office to set up a meeting with Lamar Hilton, who had emailed me saying, come in and set up a meeting with me, and Denise Evans uh, in the Student Affairs Office or whatever it is, did not do that for me. No, but Dr. Hilton called me this morning, I don't so know I would like about to. That, but you're not a student here. Anymore. No, I'm not. But Dr. Hilton called me this morning. And I think you're being very uh, rude and unprofessional. I'm, I'm not being rude. I'm just stating a fact. No, I'm I not a student. Why, you're right. I wonder why you are hanging around so often. Did you get a job? This is very unprofessional how you're acting. You the campus warning that the university sent out to all the students, they wanted to tie gun rights into diversity and inclusion, and they felt the need to lie about the event and try to warn people. They let the whole campus fear and have these predispositions about this event that weren't true. They didn't tell the truth to the students about what it was. They did not meet with me to make sure this event could go very well and as planned. And they certainly didn't try to keep the protesters at bay that also had firearms and wanted to hurt us. We had so many different kinds of people from so many different walks of life. We had people that were local to the area that were just gun owners and wanted to come and talk to students and educate them. We had people from the gay community coming who felt that they have been targeted because of their sexuality and wanted to be able to arm themselves on campus. We had women who believed that gun rights were women's rights. We had people from the Muslim community. We had a bunch of students actually walking with us and students from other schools came to join us as well because they also want to be afforded the right to carry on their campus as well. While we were waiting in the parking lot before the walk actually took place, it was such an awesome, calm, welcoming atmosphere. Everybody was really happy. There was someone there playing an instrument, playing the national anthem on it. We were just having a really good time talking amongst ourselves. There were puppies there. It was a really good time in the parking lot. However, on the other side, on campus, where the protesters were, they were uh, flipping off the police. They were really mad. They were just chanting things. They were holding baseball bats and pipes ready to come and attack us. They had fake grenades and they had just a pretty derogatory signs. They were hateful that day. That side was very hateful. While we waited in the parking lot, we were grateful for the opportunity to come and express our Second Amendment and First Amendment rights on campus that day. Before this event took place or was even planned, I met with the police for hours alongside the President of Liberty Hangout. And while they were trying to be helpful because they knew I wasn't going to give up, they were trying to intimidate me and discourage me from having the event just to keep peace on campus and to keep the protesters happy. I was 100% surprised by the police presence that day at Kent State. I did not think it was necessary that, to have that many police, but after seeing how many um, protesters with masks on, covered in black, showed up, I do think that maybe it was necessary because those type of protesters like to go and actually damage property. They like to hit people and then damage property, and they definitely would have done that that day if the police weren't there. <laughs> I definitely expected opposition that day and the groups that showed up to be the opposition were really funny. So we had a bunch of 
old people, a lot of old women called Refuse Fascism, which is very ironic because they were protesting fascism, but also gun rights and fascism and gun control kind of go hand in hand. So I'm not sure if they knew what they were doing there. We also had Black Lives Matter from Cleveland. If you're over, you're supposed to be over here. I think it's because they believe what the Did you notice why your crowd looks a bit homogeneous? Actually, it doesn't. If you look through our crowd, if you look at our crowd, there's a lot of people. I'm ready right to a radical group of feminists on campus that came to protest me and they wanted to be there as these crazy people protesting standing up being so brave against Caitlyn Bennett and they wanted a piece of that media attention for themselves Say, fuck you <laughs> how many came out to protest me means that I'm doing something right. If you have that many people against you for standing up for basic human rights, there is no other right that's more important than being able to protect yourself and your family. If that many people have a problem with it, I know I'm preaching the right message because they just don't get it. We start walking up towards Bowman Hall. The police form lines on each side of the people walking with firearms, our side. And we look over and out just comes this ambush of students, Antifa, protesters, old women coming at us and they're yelling profanities. They are going insane. We got halfway to Bowman when we were going up the sidewalk. There were actually a group of three men with guns themselves, dressed in black, had their faces covered, that were approaching me, trying to get to me. Um, I noticed they had guns and had no clue why they were protesting against me. They should have been walking with us that day. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. By the time we reached Bowman, the protesters decided to get in front of us and form a line, kind of like a blockade, so that we couldn't continue walking on campus. Police knew that things were about to get rowdy, so they geared up in their SWAT team stuff. And we always know that the goal of protesters in Antifa and communists is to fight the police. Yes, they want to hurt the people that are standing up for themselves and First Amendment, Second Amendment, whatever it is, right-wingers in general, we know they want to hurt them, but they really love fighting with the police. I just think this whole thing is insane. Uh, I think that everyone's a little too angry about this. Um, I think that's unnecessary. I get that people have their different beliefs, but everyone just wants to get violent. I think everyone wants to be just too angry. They're blocking our right to walk that way. They're blocking our right to walk. They're saying they're the ones who aren't fascists. I don't understand that. Get out of my fucking face. Back up. Public property. Don't fucking touch me. What the fuck? Don't fucking touch me. We're not being violent. We're here to peacefully demonstrate our rights. Uh, the fact that they say this is a white supremacy rally is completely absurd. We are here to express that campus carry does need to happen. Uh, Antifa has no reason to be here. Uh, they don't need to be here. Uh, they're, they're protesting for nothing, so uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell them. But there's no fascists, there are no Nazis, there is no white supremacy. It's about the Second Amendment. It is about campus carry. After much deliberation with the police and seeing how upset my family was and my little sister was scared, I was worried about their safety and I wanted to ultimately get them back to where I know they wouldn't get hurt. So I'm regretful for not, I guess, pushing back as much 
as I wish I would have, but it was definitely frustrating walking back. On the way back, the violence from the protesters were getting so bad that the police actually had to kind of form a circle around us and walk us back to our cars because they were getting so crazy, so intense. When we were walking back, they were cheering that they silenced us. They thought that they won. They really thought they did something that day by diminishing free speech, by limiting our right to speak our mind. They didn't debate anybody that day. They didn't sit there and have a conversation and win with their ideas. They got away with violence and they really, really were proud of themselves by saying they were anti-fascist but also silencing free speech. This walk did more than achieve its goal. It showed the whole world that leftists on college campuses are intolerant. They're unable to debate their ideas and win on their ideological platforms. They have to resort to violence. They have to resort to shutting things down. This isn't something that just happens at Kent State. This happens all across the country that leftists on college campuses say they're against fascism, they hate dictatorships, they hate bullying, they hate harassment, but then they go and do it to conservatives. That's what we proved that day. So if anything, I have to thank them for acting so intolerant and disgusting and hateful and bigoted that day because they proved once again that that's what we're up against and that's what we have to fight on college campuses. Good evening. I'm President Beverly Warren and I want to thank all of you for being here to this evening. We anticipated that this day might present some challenges as opposing groups from the outside came to our campus to exercise their freedoms to assemble and be heard. I want to reiterate that Kent State University did not sponsor these events, nor did we endorse any of the groups who were here on our campus today. As a public university with this beautiful campus, we are open to all who want to come here to express their views. Right. I wonder why you are hanging around so often. Didn't you get a job? While there were some heated challenges and exchanges today, I am pleased to say that today's events concluded with minimal violence and injury and no damage to university property. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience through the day. And I'm so pleased to conclude that we completed the day without violence and without injury. Thank you. Would you ever go back to Kent State and do something like this again?